I'm totally saying the obvious right now, but Romeo's not doing so well. And we had a go at Bianca before, and talking like that to a teacher is not exactly the smartest move in the world. What has it got to do with me? Come on, you know it has everything to do with you. You know, and I'm, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty, I promise, but Romeo's miserable right now, and you're looking the exact same way. And I know that I'm sticking my nose in it, but I can't help it. If you want things to work out with him, then you're going to have to be the one who makes the move. Right, because I'm the one with the problem, yeah? Is this all what to do with your ex? No. Well, then what is it? I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. I know what it's not. I just don't know what it is. Right, so you have no idea. I think I do, but I can't explain it. I mean, how am I supposed to tell him something I don't even understand? Just give it a shot. Now, Romeo doesn't know what to think, so whatever you tell him has got to be better than that. Trust your breath in me for a moment Or I'll lose the word Hey. Hi. You look kind of familiar. Kind of like this girl I used to hang out with. Pretty cool, but kind of hard to read sometimes, you know. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I spent a whole lot of time thinking I might have done something wrong. You didn't. I don't know if I can explain this properly. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But when I started crying, I, well, I didn't know why, but there was so much talk about you being a virgin. I sort of forgot to think about myself. I know that sounds stupid, since I was the one who wanted to take things further, at least. I thought I did. No, you're not so sure. I think I started crying because... I'm not ready. It's not that I don't like you, I do, I just don't want to rush into anything. That's all it is. That's the honest truth. Yeah. I don't know, you're gonna burst into tears if I try and kiss you. I don't know, we'll have to see. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. No, not really. about what you said and there's another reason why I backed off. Okay. Do you want to tell me what it is? <laughs> it's Owen. I really don't want to care about that jerk running off with mum but the last time I let my guard down was with him and so when I let my guard down with you I got scared. You didn't think I'd understand that? No, I did. I just, I didn't want you to think that I was thinking about him when I was with you or that I wasn't over him, which I am. It doesn't sound like you are, not totally. I am. I just, I'm so angry with both of them. I think I need to deal with that properly before I can move on. So how are you going to do that? Well, it's a bit harder both than living halfway across the world. Do you really need to confront the guy that much? Him, I don't care about, but I wouldn't mind saying a few things to him. You called it. It'd be too easy for her to hang up, which she would. Really? That's even if she bothered to answer the phone call in the first place. Yes, or I her a letter. It's very 19th century of you, but I look like Jane here. At least if you write her a letter, you can say everything you want without being interrupted. Person. And you can't get into an argument. <laughs> you really be shit. 
Oh, good to see you're trying to improve your work ethic. That's all I have to say. Uh, um, I was actually going to get a coffee first, if that's... Yeah, help yourself. Do you want one? Yeah, sure. Hey, gang, so if you get letters, why don't you send her an email instead? No, it's too casual for what you want to say. Dumb idea. It's not that dumb. She's probably more likely to read an email, especially if you put a smiley face in the subject line. Doesn't necessarily mean you take it seriously, but at least she'll open it. Yeah, as long as you keep your finger off the send button until you've had a chance to read it over. That's probably good advice. Do you have your iPhone? Yeah. Mm, it's not worked for a while. Do you want to have a go at typing something up? Not really, but I will anyway. I'm not really sure how you'd start an email like that. Yeah, I had, Dear Mum, how's my ex? <laughs> but that seemed too formal. Well, at least you can laugh about it. If my mum did that to me, I... No, you know what? That sentence is way too ridiculous to even continue. No, I admire your guts. It's too confrontational, isn't it? No, no, it's just the right amount of confrontation, apparently. Well, it's on a backward stare. But if it's what you need to do, then I think you should do it, no matter how confronting it is. It wasn't easy writing to Elijah, but I'm glad I did it. See? It can be a good thing. Maybe just lay off the attack. Parents don't generally like it when you do that, even if they're in the wrong. No, especially if they're in the wrong. And if what you say about your mum is true and she is running away from the responsibilities, I think if you go too hard, she'll probably keep running. Well, then everything I just wrote... <laughs> yeah, maybe don't send that. Mm, anyway, I'll leave you to it. Let's start again. Your shift starts shortly, miss. I hope you're not planning on hanging around and distracting her again. I wouldn't dream of it, Mrs. Smart. Maybe she's right. I'll just, I'll just do it later. You got five minutes. I'll start you off. Dear Mum. Wow, where'd you come up with that? I didn't see you typing. <laughs> I want her to have to respond. I don't want her to just read it and forget about it. Look, trust me, what I told you to write is the perfect email. For your mum, maybe, but not for mine. <sighs> Indy, I need your advice. Why are you so out of breath? I just ran all the way from the surf club. I'm on a date. Nice work. Thanks. It's that girl from the pet shop, and it's going really, really well. So where is she? Still at the surf club. And you're here because... She made a joke. And that's a bad thing? No, you don't get it. It was exactly the sort of joke that I like. And it wasn't said with any, look at me, look at me attached to it, like, say, Romeo would do. What? Sorry, dude, but it's true. It was fast and funny and euphemistic. And? And I don't want to stuff it up because I really like this girl. And I wasn't feeling any pressure before, but now I am. And if you like her and she likes you, what's the problem? Yeah, what are you so afraid of? Take your pick. Specifically, though, for this girl, what is it? I don't know. I don't want things to end up like they did with Marilyn. I don't want to read the signs wrong and stuff it all up. Well, that's fair enough. Good. Let's go. Go where? I need you to come with me and help me read the signs. What? That's not a great idea, dude. Yes, it is. Indy's a girl. She'll be able to read the signs way better than me. Please, I'll owe you anything. Dex, I hate to point out the obvious, but you've left her by herself at the surf club on your date. The signs will be pretty easy to read. Yeah, didn't really think that one through. I thought I made myself clear earlier. This is not a drop-in centre for young people. If you're not going to buy anything, I suggest you clear off. I'm going to take my break now. Good. You're coming. You can help me think up an excuse to why I disappeared. Let's go. Stop pushing me. Okay, well, where is she? I don't know. I left her right here. Maybe she went to the bathroom. Maybe she's out looking for you. Mr. Stewart, the girl I was with? Uh, she left, mine. When? Where? Well, she wasn't too happy. She just bowled it. Um, she uh, said to give you this. What does it say? It says, don't call me. 